My name is Paul Trinity, and I want to show you how you can create random movement in Edge Animate. So, uh, just to start off, here's my character. As I go inside of my character, you can see my character will have its wings flap, and I thought that for this symbol called my rect, I'd like for it to move into different positions, kind of bouncing around the stage. So that's the movement I want. I want it to be uh, obviously random. And I want this to happen once the stage is ready. So down here for stage, I'm going to click right here on these curly braces. I'm going to open up the actions for this stage. And you'll notice I already have something set up for composition ready. And I have two variables created. Okay, so they're just empty variables. But now I want to take advantage of them. So function random numbers for this function. Again, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to take advantage of rand x, make that equal to math.random. Get a random number between you know, 0 and 1. So it might be 0 0.3578, whatever. So uh, what I'd want to do is I want to multiply that by, say, 800 pixels. Okay, Because the stage is about 800 pixels wide. It's actually a little, little larger. But I want to make sure my character is seen. Okay, so the character, since we have that X position, I want to make sure uh, it will actually appear, say, right there on a thousand pixel wide screen. So it's going to be there. And then as for the height, well, it's not going to be any higher than, say, about 300 pixels. So um, I have that math random position. And usually what I like to do is I like to actually round it because I like to take that number, which could be you know, 379.537, and round it by using math.floor. So round it down into just a nice round number. So we're rounding down there. In fact, I think that line of code is so good, I'm going to duplicate it and make one for rand y. Okay. In this case, it's going to be 300 pixels high. So get that random number and uh, you know move the object into that position uh, and it's all going to be randomly placed. Okay. Well the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure I call this function. So I need to say random and again do what you can because obviously I have a misspelling there. Drop that in there just like that. Call that function when uh, this composition loads. Okay, so that just creates the random numbers. Okay, because what I need to do next is I need to create a function called move me that starts to move this uh, particular object. In this case, it's going to be function move me do something awesome. And this is the awesome part. Go ahead and move. Again, this is jQuery calling out that particular object this way. So that particular object, again, is known as my rect, as we see right there. So whatever you're calling your object, in this case, my rect, just like that. Let's animate. And what's great about this is this is a particular API available in Edge Animate, and it's called Animate. So if you want to move an object, you can move it. In fact, you're given a couple of parameters. It could be the jQuery functions within those curly braces, uh, how long it will take to move, say, over the course of one second, and then if you want to do something else is what I'd drop in here. So right in here, I'd say, hey, you know what? Let's move the left position, that random x position. All right, so that's what I want to do. I'm going to take this random x, and it's going to go right there. Okay, next up is the top position, which is the Y position. Go ahead and whatever random number you have there, move it to that location, just like that. So we have random X, random Y, does that movement over the course of one second, which that is technically milliseconds. Lastly, once it's moved it to that new position over the course of one second, we need to set a new location. So that's where we call this function again. So copying the name, pasting it right there, and that's all we need to do. Aside from save and run this, command enter, there's my character. You can see my character bounce around. Again, just a, a pretty straightforward example. 
as he moved the, moves these random positions. So we'll see him come into place. There he is uh, onto more of the stage. It's all done randomly. You can do more with this as you start to adjusting the size, adjusting like maybe the blurriness, things like that. There's a lot you can do. But hopefully this is a good idea for what you can do if you're trying to create random movement or even creating random numbers, whatever the case may be. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and thanks so much for watching.